Um, there are two options for multiplying this. I am going to show you now the distributive, okay? Which basically everything gets multiplied by everything else. So here is how I would do distribu the distributive um, version of multiplying polynomials. I would do x squared times x, okay? This one has two, this one has one. That is a total of three x's, but it, is, it becomes x to the third power. Then I would do negative five times, five x times x. Again, you have to have that negative five. How many x's? One, two, so that is x squared. Then I would do two times x, which is just two x, okay? So I've multiplied the first, every single thing in the first parentheses by the first one. Now I'm going to do everything in the first parentheses by the second term, okay? So I'm going to do x squared, oops, x squared times negative three. And I'm going to line it up. That is negative three x squared, which I'm going to put right here. Then I'm going to do negative five x times negative three, which is positive 15 x, which I'm gonna line up right here because they are like terms. Lastly, I'm going to do two times negative three, which is negative six. Now, when I combine my like terms, I just go straight down. And my final answer ends up being x to the third plus negative 8x squared. 2 plus 15 is 17x. And then 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6. And there's your final answer using the distributive property to multiply polynomials.